Hello, potassium aluminum sulfates and growth plates. My name is Joseph Moore, and you are watching the Friday edition of the Jeldon Show. Please pardon the crown and what clothes are answering out. I'll just, just wait a second, I gotta get decent. Has this ever happened to you? I have so much alum, but I don't know what to do with it. Well, have I got some news to you. Check this out. My plan today is that we are going to fireproof cloth with none other than alum. Alum, or potassium aluminum sulfate, is an octahedral salt. That is, it forms a salt in the shape of an octahedron. If you don't know what that looks like, uh, put an image right here. All right, since I don't have the resources to actually make a big fireproof thing, I'm just gonna fireproof this little piece of cloth right here. Just a quick note, if you plan on fireproofing any of your own stuff, I don't recommend fireproofing clothes as that stuff can get on your hands and your hand can get in your mouth and alum is, let's just say, not very fun to ingest. It's actually an astringic agent which will make you throw up, so there's that. And it doesn't taste very good to be one, so. Yeah, we'll have none of that going on. So if you just follow me, I'm going to make an alum solution to dip this cloth in. That's what you want to do. You want to start out with a pretty liberal amount of alum. Okay, next you need to grind it up into a powder. This makes it a lot easier to dissolve in there. Right now I'm just using a screwdriver because I lack a proper mortar and pestle. All right, that ought to be enough. To help the alum dissolve uh, additionally quicker, use hot water to dissolve the alum in. Alright, for my purposes, this ought to be enough. I'll add a little more. Oh, I spilt a lot. Let me clean that up before I proceed. Alright, so mix it around a little bit if your alum is not completely dissolved. It should pretty quickly if you're using hot water. You may have to work it in if you're using warm or cold water. Okay, that's good. Right now, we got a pretty high concentration of alum in there. I'm going to submerge this. You don't, it doesn't need to stay in long. It just needs to get completely wet. Like that. You just leave it in for a minute, and then take it out and let it dry. All right, so now that the cloth is completely soaked and has rusted for about a minute, you have to let it dry, uh, otherwise it wouldn't really work very well. Uh, it's best to let it air dry, although if you really need to, you could use a hot gun or just a air dryer. Hair, hair dryer will do quite well. All right, so now that my fabric is dry, I decided to do a little experiment to test the flammability. Right there is the alum one. I marked it with an X. Right there is just a normal piece of denim. So without further ado, that's a pan of water down below, and I have a pair of scissors to cut the string if that need be. Always wash your hands after using alum. And always be careful when using fire, all right? I'm a trained professional. As you can see, there is, well, just a few little scorching around the edges, but the actual fabric itself is not catching flame. Whereas if we go with this, it catches fire almost immediately right there. Or right here it doesn't. And, uh, hold on. As you can see, no alum. This has been a lesson in science. Thank you, I will see you on Tuesday, I think? Yeah. Bye.